We're starting seeds. Seed starting time. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at my eggplant. I think we have 25 up or like sprouted kind of like those are coming up. But this is going to be an exciting week because our plants come like our plugs in the mail. They come today or tomorrow and then we get to take care of them and pot them the rest of the week. So that's going to be super exciting. And I get to start some brassicas and transplant these eggplant later in the week. So today I just planted 150 Green Magic Broccoli. This is the day we started putting the hanging baskets together and putting moist soil in them. So the plants I have are kind of limited this year as I'm just kind of learning this career choice, you know. So I have two varieties of begonias, Bada Bing and dragon wing begonias and then i have three varieties of geraniums violet coral and quicksilver they're all the marvrick geranium then i have one variety of impatience and two varieties of petunias they're the easy wave one and then one variety of portulaca <clears throat> and those last three varieties i mentioned are coming later and they'll also come with asparagus fern and I'll be able to sell all of those. So those varieties are the 10 flats that I ordered. The rest of the things I will start from seed. Mostly will be vegetables and one variety of flower I'm starting from seed. I'll tell you them in a minute. I just brought the plants over. So we have geranium quicksilver. Um, geranium violet. Geranium coral. And then our pink super elfin lipstick, impatience, um, begonias, these ones I'm a little worried about, um, they just don't look s the best, they're like smashed, but they made it through the night, so that's encouraging. I think I'm going to water them, because the edge ones are super dry. Um, only of those. Then we have our other begonias. These are the bada bing pink. Now these ones, I was <clears throat> confused because they took these out and in the email with the like invoice, they're like, they minus so many because to help them not get sickly or be diseaseous or whatever but <clears throat> that's today's project so I'm excited <clears throat> definitely a little nervous about these I don't know if I need to file a claim or what um, they really feel like they need water and there is a bug there's a few like gnats or something so that's a little concerning as well but we'll see how it goes today. So the vegetables I'll be growing, I'll start with the ones that are earlier and I've already started. So the eggplant, as you've seen, Black Beauty eggplant, and then Green Magic broccoli, Marathon broccoli, Stonehead cabbage, and Snowball cauliflower, and then many, many varieties of tomatoes. I won't list them all now, I'll tell you them in the video about tomatoes. Then I have some peppers, banana sweet peppers, revolution peppers, they're a bell pepper, and then red night bell pepper, and then colossus jalapeno. And that just sums it up for the plants I'm having. Now Jill is going to sell some plants from my greenhouse and also go to a plant street fair with me and she has more like herbs she's growing dill basil two different kinds of basil um rutabaga um brussels sprouts loofah 
So she's kind of covering things that I'm not covering. And she also has like farmer's market spots so she can sell plants there. So today we got a lot done. Last night I was so stressed out because my plugs, it was like the last day they could come before the weekend. They shipped on Monday and should have been like an overnight. So Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday would have been ideal. But they came Friday at 8 p.m., which is very unusual. But anyway, Friday night at 8. So they came last night at 8. Then today we got to plant them all. Well, we didn't plant them all, but we've started. So Marvick Violet. We've got this whole area of violet. Then we have some coral, Marvick coral geraniums. That's them. Then over here we have geraniums and impatience. Super elephant lipstick are the impatience. All these little guys. Then I hope they don't get too cold on the edge. But then over here we have our first Quicksilver, Marver, Maverick, Quicksilver, and then some Violet. But the Quicksilver is the first geranium I did. So all, not those two, but all the other hanging baskets over here are all Quicksilver geraniums. And then we started filling more hanging baskets and putting them over here. The ones with hangers were already filled. I just didn't get more hanging baskets done. Just the Quicksilver, which is 33 hanging baskets and then over here we did some baskets so I'm not mixing any of the colors up but these are quicksilver um, these are the violet these are violet too these are the impatient lipstick um, then I thought it would be a nice pop to have that pinkish purple with the blue and then we have Marvert Coral over there and then some are still empty obviously because I didn't get to all my plugs today I'll show you how many I have left in a minute I'm just gonna pat this down a little more so the leaves aren't touching the soil I don't know if that'll cause problems but some plants don't like that so the sun is setting isn't that beautiful then I started taking cuttings from my bad looking wandering Jew and putting them in here which I'll water real quick and then we filled all of those trays with the four inch pots, except for what you're looking at. So four small stacks. I'm just gonna water that real quick. And it was a big, I mean, we all learned something, but I'm never gonna put dry soil into pots. Uh-uh, it's a pain in the rear. Um, because if you put dry soil into your things, it takes forever to moisten. These are just now getting moist and they're still powdery dry. I mean, it could be the wetting agent, but still it is a must. They took so long we have to mix them in there with water. It's a pain, pain, pain. But... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was getting so into planting that I didn't even go home for lunch. Which I did bring a protein shake that I was had from breakfast. And just sipped on it all day. But then Jill got a lot of work done today too. She brought all her basil. Purple basil and sweet basil. She brought some marigolds and up potted them. Then the rest are kind of seeds and onions and early veggies. But 
that is what we're looking like. Um, yeah, I did have some concerns about the plugs, the begonias especially. Um, one of the, the coral, coral geraniums got a little like smashed up and twisty. But, um, these begonias look frosted to me and they're really flat. The edge ones, the leaves are so flat, and then the middle ones have, like, thicker leaves. So, something's going on on this side. I think they got a little cold. These are doing pretty good. But these are the dragon wings, the ones that go in the hanging baskets. And these are the ones that are pink. Those are red. Um, then we have more dry soil that I'm going to have to mix. It's easier to mix the water in the bigger pots, but yeah. Then I used my um, Rue apron. It's not the Rue, Rue brand, but it held all the tags and kind of helped me be organized, and it was great. So that's kind of a wrap on what we did today. I feel very accomplished. We had six trays. We finished two completely and then two halves so three um we did three trays today and that's halfway and then those right there they took out to prevent disease or something i'm like okay i hope you don't charge me for those but you know whatever our heater's working great. Last night was the first night we had it on, like, 60. Um, because we were expecting the plants by yesterday. Um, my tracking number said by 7, and they came at 8. So, like, that whole hour, well, the whole day, I was just waiting and waiting. And then that last hour, I gave up on them coming. I was like, they're going to be in a truck overnight, and they're all going to die. But they made it. So, thank you to that UPS driver for long hours and dedication. So, it is looking fabulous. A little cluttered, not going to lie. But it's growth and it's progress. And I'm saving this cardboard from everything for a project that you'll see later. Dylan, we're at Bountiful Harvest Greenhouse. And I started some of these purple basil from seed. And I'm popping them into bigger pots today. These are my dragon wing red begonias, um, and they're hanging baskets, and I think they're just beautiful. These ones worried me a little bit when they came in the mail. They looked really cold and needed transplanted fast. In this clip, I am transplanting the Bada Bing begonias from the plugs they came in into four-ish inch square pots that go directly into flats. I really wasn't a fan of begonias before, but these were just so adorable when I got them. I've never bought begonias before for myself personally or to sell because this is my first time selling really. And these things were just so cute and they seem to be doing way better than the geraniums. I've never started geraniums this young, but they're having a little shock after I transplanted them. And the begonias are doing fabulous. And this is what it looks like in here. We have this whole table of begonia er, geraniums. We have the color quicksilver and violet. That's what all those are. Well, actually, the back end. These are impatience. All those are. So. Then the rest on this table are geraniums. Then we come over to the big table. These are all impatient. Or why do I keep confusing myself? These are geraniums, coral, and some violet. Then on this table, we have my begonia hanging basket. They are a little dry, so I need to moisten them before I use them. But then over here, we have a begonia full table. 
We have eight of these 10 inch baskets with four begonia plugs each and they're bada bing pink. And then these are all bada bing in the four inch pots. Then this tray and that tray, so the catty corner, those are the red dragon wing. And the rest of the red dragon wing will be going in these types of pots. Some of them I might put in the 10 inch, I don't know yet if we have extra, but I wanna fill the majority of these up with the red dragon wing. Then over here, I probably already showed you yesterday, majority geraniums, a few impatience in the 10 inch baskets. Then down here, I have what's left of my geraniums that need transplanted. Um, coral and violet. That's the vi coral. This is the violet. And the only color that goes good with these pots, I'm going to put the blue petunias. Then we have our soil station. It looks messy. And my family all came to help um, put these together. So they twisted the wires on and filled them. Then over here, those two tables are kind of my catch-all tables. Snacks, tools, drinks. This one has random pots, trash. Um, these need dumped out and put wet fertilizer in because the wet fertilizer, not fertilizer, wet soil, um, these have to be wet. Otherwise, if you put water on them, it just goes straight through and it's still powdery dry. Um, then we have our finished baskets over here. So tomorrow I'm going to be just planting geraniums in these. All the baskets hanging green and brown are filled with begonias and geraniums. Green means begonia. Brown is geranium. Um, then over here past the soil station. We have some more baskets working on. My wandering Jew that looks really bad that I'm trying to get some good ones off. Then we have a whole bunch of dry ones there. Um, I'm gonna start my cauliflower tonight, maybe some cabbage too. It's 66 in here. Um, that's Jill's temperature thing. I'm getting a professional one for greenhouses coming in the mail soon. This is all Jill's stuff. She started her onions from seed. I'm just wondering if she wants me to water that. But yeah, the rest is all hers. It's kind of a little update, but I'm saving cardboard for a project there. Thanks for watching.